Hello, my name is Katie Ward and I'm going to talk to you about Ancestry DNA in Centimorgans. So recently I did a DNA test through Ancestry.com and I was not aware that they actually matched you with like DNA. So shared DNA between you and a family member. So I'm going to let you read the definition of a centimorgan before I go on to the next chart. Basically, how I understand what a genetic distance is, is how far apart I am from a family member, uh, essentially in numbers um, or a percentage. So this chart is actually a depiction of my match with my uncle. So my mom and him share the same mother and father. So as you can see, um, it says that we have an extremely high confidence in that we're related and that we could be close family or first cousins. So if you've looked at your matches before, you probably are wondering why a close family member like an uncle or aunt shows up as close family or first cousin. So I had that same question too before I called Ancestry to find out why it doesn't break down any further than cousin or close family member. And so if you have a cousin that you know is a first cousin, it'll say a range of probably first cousins to second cousins. Um, or even if it's a brother or sister, it'll still say close family or first cousins, which is frustrating because you really want it to show that your brother is your brother, your sister is your sister, your uncle is an uncle, but it doesn't do that. But I found a place where it actually does break down a shared segment number to show how you are related. So next to the confidence, um, green bar that says extremely high and next to that it has a little eye dot. Now you're going to want to click on that eye dot but what you want to do is whenever you see your list of matches don't click on the eye dot within the matches you have to click on the eye dot once you click on a specific person or it won't take you to the next screen that I'm going to show you. So this next screen actually tells you the amount of shared DNA between my uncle and me. So it says there's 1,624 centimorgans shared across 57 DNA segments. So the next chart, what does that mean? So it said that we were extremely high confidence level, which means that we share approximate amount of shared centimorgans of more than 60. So virtually almost 100% likelihood of a single recent common ancestor. So then if it tells you very high, then you can see the ranges and then high, good, and then moderate. So this chart talks to the ancestry DNA in centimorgans shared. So on an earlier chart, I talked about how my uncle and I share 1,624 centimorgans across 57 DNA segments. 
So once you click on that little I, it's a lot of information that you have to read. But when you get down to the bottom, it talks about the approximate amount of shared DNA. So our range is between 1450 and 2050, which shows that we are uncle niece. So one cool thing about the Ancestry match is that I found family I was not aware of. And um, I found a first cousin or half first cousin. And uh, we share a grandfather, but not the same grandmother. So that's why we're half first cousins. But according to our amount of shared DNA, we have 405 centimorgan shared across 14 DNA segments which shows that we are second cousins, but we know we're first cousins, but half. So when I called Ancestry, they explained to me that because we are half, that it's gonna typically drop down one category um, in the chart. So since we are only half, it dropped from first cousin to second cousin. And the amount of Sindemorgan shared falls into the second cousin category, which kind of shows that we're really only half and not full first cousins. I hope that makes sense. I wanted to create this video because um, the Sinta Morgans is really hard to understand. There's not much information out there on the Ancestry website about how to read your Sinta Morgans. Um, it wasn't until I called Ancestry and talked to customer service that they were very helpful and walked me through what the Sinta Morgans mean and how my family and I are related as in a Sinta Morgan number. So I hope this helps you in understanding um, how to read the connections um, of shared DNA in your matches within your Ancestry account. Thank you.